The 1814 Congress of Vienna was when the victors of the Napoleonic Wars assembled in Vienna, Austria to plan the post-war world and rebuild the international order. It was meant to tie together the continental nations by a shared sense of moral values and to create a balance of power. The head of the Congress who would decide Europe's fate for the next 40 to 60 years was Prince Clemens von Metternich, the representative from Austria. Metternich believed that democracies were dangerous and unpredictable. He wanted to preserve the authority that was held by the monarchs. At that time period, it made sense to be against revolution and democracy because they only brought power-hungry dictators to power who looked towards expanding their nation's borders through invasion and war. The other representatives at the Congress were Hardenberg from Prussia, Talleyrand from France, Castlereau from Britain, and Alexander, the Tsar of Russia. These statesmen had several major problems to fix, the first being Germany. Germany at that time consisted of several small feudal-like states and kingdoms that were too weak to adequately protect themselves. The issue was that when the Germanic peoples were weak and divided, it tempted its neighbors, such as France, to expand. However, at the same time, Germany was rapidly increasing in power, and it also took up a massive chunk of continental Europe, so a unified Germany would be too great a threat to its neighbors. The solution was to consolidate, not unify Germany. The over 300 German states were combined into 30, which were then titled as the German Confederation. This way, it was too strong to be attacked, yet at the same time too weak to attack others. Another issue was France. Most of the congressmen wanted France severely punished, and you can't really blame them since their countries had just been ravaged and torn apart by Napoleon's armies. Metternich, however, claimed that Europe would be far safer if France was reprimanded yet satisfied instead of angry and resentful. We can see how clearly Metternich's ideas are if we compare it to the 1919 Treaty of Versailles that left Germany weak, angry, economically destitute, and vulnerable to dictators like Hitler. As a result, France's conquered territory was returned and her pre-war borders were restored. Later, in 1818, France was also admitted to the Congress system. Finally, in order to more unify the great powers under Metternich's web of moral restraint, the two alliances were created. The first was the quadruple alliance between Great Britain, Austria, Prussia, and Russia. Its main purpose was to prevent any trouble started by France. The other alliance was the Holy Alliance of Austria, Prussia, and Russia. It was initially proposed by Alexander to preserve the domestic status quo of European nations. Basically, it was to combat revolution and support the monarchies in power.